All right, now we're recording. Welcome to 15 and 15, and here's Peter. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm going to give a short presentation today on how to set up a homepage in Canvas, and then also talk about the uh, utility of modules, how they're designed in Canvas, and how they can help you organize your course. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen. And I'm seeing the, the green rectangle. Is everyone seeing my course here at Plymouth State? I'm getting thumbs up. Okay, so this is a, the default homepage and that it's called the activity stream. So it's announcements, things like that. You also see this um, on your dashboard. Um, so I'll go to my dashboard. So when you first log into Canvas, you'll see this and you have like to do and coming up and things like that. So on your dashboard is for all the courses that you're involved in. And when you go to a specific course, so the sample course for training here, this is the activity stream just for that course. This is the default behavior. This is what most people do. They just leave it like this. But if you want to set something else on your homepage, like many other things in Canvas, I love it because you can keep it very simple. If you don't do anything, it works for you. But you can also take a very deep dive. Um, and so we'll go into that, how you can kind of make your homepage basically do almost whatever you want. Um, so from the home tab here, if you come over to the right, and select choose home page you'll get this pop-up box and you can see by default it's the course activity stream or you could set it to be course modules assignments list or syllabus um, and i'll talk in more detail about the pages front page so you should still be able to see this grayed out over here in the background um, you can see by default in the course menu i mean modules is the uh, like the third item uh, syllabus should be there, it's right here. Usually that's more toward the top. And uh, the assignments list is hidden in, you know, further down. But so really by default, students will see the syllabus if you created it, no problem. Um, they'll see the course modules if you're using those, no problem. Um, a lot of faculty, not a lot, but some faculty will change this to the assignments list because they, instead of using modules, though, they prefer to use assignments. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. But the real power of the front page is selecting a page's front page here. And it's a little bit counterintuitive, so I'm going to break it down and then go through it. So you can see right now, like I can't select it. I can select course modules, assignments, syllabus if I want. And there's this little note down here, front page must be set first. Okay, well, how do I do that? Let me cancel this and go back to pages. I'll make a side note here. Um, this eyeball with the eye through it means that it's not visible to students. You can see it as a teacher, but a student can't see it. Um, you have to enable them to see things uh, by going into settings and not to go down a dark alley too much, um, but navigation. And then you can drag and drop things from, it's this text block right here. Everything above that is visible to students and everything below it is not visible to students. And there is a special case where you may drag something up here and wanting it to be visible to students, but you'll still see the eyeball. That's because if you see that, it's typically because there's nothing there. There's no content there. Um, anyway, that's sort of a dark alley or side alley. Uh, the other thing I'd like to mention is over here on the left, and we'll get more into this with modules later, is I like to think of things like assignments, quizzes, discussions, pages. These are all like file bins, almost like desk drawers, where you put material and content that you want to be, you want to be made available in the course. And then the way Canvas is designed, you then link all these things in the drawers up into modules, which is kind of like, almost like an outline, a course outline or a front page. You don't have to do it that way, certainly, but that that is the way that Canvas is designed. So back to setting a home page. kind of got off track here, but we go into the pages drawer, desk drawer, the file bin, and so I click on it, and it's a, it lists all my pages here. So we just happen to have a nifty home page right here. So if I click on that just to see it, it's just a sample homepage and you can see it's got a nice graphic and some nice borders. Anyway, it's a little bit nicer than your standard, you know, wiki page or your standard canvas page. Now to make this your homepage, you have to come over here to the three dots, the kebab and say, use as a front page. So you have to create the page first and then you have to using these, this kebab menu designated as a front page. And you might've noticed that 
you get this little banner right here that says front page. Now, if I go back to view all pages, I'll see it there as well. So it's nice and clear that this is the front page. Um, it also needs to be published, side note. So you need to see that green check there. And then if I go back home. So can I just ask Peter, did you make that homepage or is that there for everybody as a template thing? Uh, I did not make it. This is just a uh, course that's shared among us trainers, myself and Megan and uh, Louise Jones. So if so, I go, I won't find, I have to make that homepage. I wouldn't find it in there. Is that correct? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you, yeah. you create a page yeah. um, first, or you could, you know, you could import it from another course if somebody's willing to give it to you, that kind of thing. Like yeah, if that, Peter was willing to give me his. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Like that template that's there, you could, uh, I could definitely share that with you and and then you could use that and, and make it your own. Um, so from here, home, and then we go to choose home page again. Now, since I've designated um, that home page as the page's front page, it's now selectable. So I can just click on the, the box there and then I click save. And now my home page, when I go into the course or when a student selects home, will be this page. Um, I mentioned that I, I love Canvas because you can keep it simple or you can take a very deep dive and you can almost do like anything in between. I've seen, there was a French instructor. I don't even know how she did it, but she created like an, a, it was a PDF and it was like an interactive PDF. And she had a calendar, like almost like, um, it was almost like a flip calendar though. And there was images and you could click on each image for each different day. And when you did that, that brought you to like the syllabus and all the assignments. Um, it was a French class, so she had a ton of videos that you could watch. And it was just, it was so far to me still like the best example of just, wow, it must have taken a lot of work. She had a lot of know-how probably in graphic design. But I mean, that's just the power of this homepage. So again, you can do nothing with it and it'll just be the, um, you know, the, the course events. Or you can set it to something else like a syllabus if you want to leverage that. Or you can just create your own homepage and basically the sky's the limit. Um, any questions? I know this is re being recorded and it's going to be for other, other folks, but any of the present people, you have any questions on that before we move on to modules? All right. So let's go into modules. Um, so if I click on this, so what is a module exactly? So a module is really just a way to organize your course. And visually, when you click on modules, like this whole box right here, is a single module and the modules always have like a header here so this is the getting started with this course module and then you can see each item here uh, each row is basically a piece of content and canvas i'm sure you've noticed if you've been in canvas at all really loves the icons and so like this icon is is a page um, this icon is two conversation boxes so it's a discussion and so on so each there's the different types of content um, in each module. Uh, so I already have modules here. And when you first get into Canvas, there, there won't be anything here. Um, it'll just be blank. So how do you create a module? When we come up here to the green plus module button and you click on it, and then you ha always have to name it. So let's just say, uh, I'm gonna just create a module and I'll call it a uh, test module. There's some options here that I, I won't go into in detail, but you can lock it until a certain date. Like if you want to create it beforehand, but you want it to automatically show up at a certain date, you can also control that through publishing and non-publishing. Um, you can also add prerequisites. Like uh, this is more for like a self-paced course. So you get through module one, for instance, and then, you know, this this module would unlock for a particular student once they've completed the prerequisites. And you can, you know, add a lot of prerequisites. So you could select a module, you could select a, a specific assignment, things like that. Again, that's a little bit more advanced. So I don't, I don't want to go too in, in depth with that. So I'm not going to select any of that stuff. I'm not going to lock it. Um, I'm not going to add prerequisites, but I'm going to add the module. So when I do that, it goes all the way down to the bottom because that's kind of how you generally build your course from the beginning to the end. Typically, again, you don't have to. Now see these dots here? I can grab these dots and move this module wherever I'd like. So I want it to be, you know, 
next to last, or I want to drag it all the way up to the beginning, I can do that. I'm going to do that just for ease of use. And I just plop it right there at the beginning. So now that's my first module. And you can see there's nothing in it. It's just this header here. So how do I add things to the module? I click the plus button here. And then I get this drop down window. And if I click on that, that's essentially everything that is in Canvas that you can add. So you can add an assignment, a quiz, a file that you've uploaded. You can create a page beforehand and just add that page there. Again, a discussion text header, external URL, external tool. Um, let's just make a, uh, let's see, let's just make a page. That's probably the easiest thing. Um, and you can either then create a new page here, or these are all the existing pages. So maybe you want, you know, about your instructor to be the very first thing in the very first module, and you've created a page, you know, about the instructor, about yourself, and you just select it. This is just a, an option to indent or not. Um, again, it's modules I mentioned is kind of, it's an outline essentially. So you can have, you know, a header and then an indented one, two, three. Most people don't use this, but it is there for you to use if you'd like to. And I click add item. And now I've, you can see right here that there's this page about your instructor. And if I click on it, again, it's just a, uh, you know, a sample page. This would be something that you would have created beforehand, or maybe you're reusing from previous uh, courses. Um, but now it's there. And if you go back, we'll go back to the modules. Let's add something else real quick. Um, let's add an assignment and let's create an assignment right from here. So we previously just added a page that was kind of in our page file basket. So we had created that previously, and now we're just using modules to basically retrieve that information. When we created that page about your instructor, students really couldn't see it. It's just in the pages file. When we bring it forward to the module, uh, that's really where we're kind of like publishing the, the guts of the course. The, the modules, I like to think of it as like the, the skeleton of the course, pages, files, assignments, all that stuff is like the I don't know, like the guts, the meat. And so you're you're kind of, you know, literally putting organs and flesh on the skeleton. And the skeleton is um is the modules. And again, this is how Canvas was designed. You don't have to do it this way, but that's how they uh kept it in mind when they were designing it. So anyway, let's add an assignment and we'll create an assignment from scratch. So right here are all the assignments that already exist, but we can go ahead and create an assignment and we'll have to name it. Well, let's just call it test assignment. And then we add the item. And then we have to come in here and click on it again to add all the details of the assignment. We click edit. And since this is in the first module, um, something early in class, you know, tell us something about yourself, you know, an icebreaker type of thing. in you know 50 words or less and then we would come through here just you know this is more uh creating an assignment than you know the power of the modules but it, it's all the standard things you'd have to assign points um you can assign groups this is more advanced type of stuff but this is just to show you that you can create uh content for the first time while working um in a module i think this will work i think i have enough information there i'm going to hit save Okay, if we go back to modules, now we have test assignment. Um, we're, we're almost out of time. It's one thing I wanna point out is when you create this content, so this page about your instructor, it was already published and you see the green check mark there. You can unpublish it as, as easy as that. You get the circle with the line through it or you can publish it. Um, for students to see anything on this page, you have to publish it. And you can publish things individually just by clicking over here, or you can publish the entire module at a single time by clicking this kind of top level um, uh, icon here. So it's published mo module and all items are published module only. Actually, this is a little bit different than I've looked at it last. Um, published module and all items is basically the, the, the most useful part of that feature there. So now the whole module is published. Um, we're right at time. Uh, does anyone have any questions? I'm going to no. stop recording and then uh, you can also stay and ask more questions of Peter. Thanks for coming, everybody.